Hey guys, California Maggie here, doing well. I want to apologize for uh, the delay in making getting up to this game. I really apologize because um, I tried to shift priorities to see what would work and it did not work out. So we're gonna go back to replant things, going back to the original layout. We're gonna be fine. Anyway, welcome back to Hidagashitsuchi, where we're gonna be the master of a mansion that is apparently given to us by a, a very absent sugar daddy. That's basically the premise. That's basically what we're doing. Oh yeah, he forgot that he's living in luxury now. Honestly, in this day and age, I would say yes to owning a mansion. Or even taking caretaking a mansion. <laughs> if it meant living freely and having my own space away from family, that would be great. My world... Although that depends on the work conditions too, but it's just ironic that these are really good work, work conditions for the master. I don't know about the butlers, but I heard it's alright. I remember, I'm the master of this place now. I didn't mean to startle you, it's nearly noon, would you care for something to eat? Fucking bread and milk is not gonna last me. And wash my face, I'd take a hot shower or a cold one. Anything just to perk up the entire body. I would not... I would feel the imbalance of just a face wash. I need a whole body wash. Also, toast and milk would not survive me. Unless I'm in a certain mood. He showed me the bathroom. Finally felt awake when I felt the cold water hit my face. I can't say I'm proud of it, but I felt like a log and had a hard time getting out of bed. He scarfed him down. What's elegant about bread and to toast and milk? Oh yeah, because we're so used to rice, right? Especially from where they come from. Bread probably costs a lot. Costs a lot here, too. Rice is more abundant. <laughs> right, I collapsed after dinner and just slept like that. When I took a closer look, my jeans were the only thing tangled up. There was a crumpled set of pajamas, too. Ah shit, he took he forgot to take care of that, huh? That's a shame. Thank you for the food. Oh, nicely done, you finished. Good job. Young master, do you have any plans today? Nothing today as far as work goes. Technically my occupation is student. You're a student? Technically, I'm a college student. You don't have a club. No wonder you got time for all these men. I wish I had this schedule too. It seems pretty chill. I have never had classes with just two days before. Ever. Everything's cramped up across the week. Like three or four days. <laughs> Mondays and Wednesdays. I should get up around now on both days. You know what would be horrifying? If there's like a remake of Hadaka Shitsuji, but it's like Persona 3 Reload. That would be fucking wild. Imagine Hadaka Shitsuji for Persona 3 Reload and you have to deal- Your social links are those butlers that go ham lusting over your body. It is. Actually, that would be M-rated game. An M-rated game paid well. I might- I might try to do something, I don't know, I've been thinking about it. I don't know how to incorporate it though. I wasn't really planning going while I'm here anyway. Wait, classes didn't really matter, but I forgot about my paper, I can't ignore that for a whole month. I need my laptop and my cell phone charger too in case of emergencies. I'm sure they have nothing against that. Oh, they're gonna come with. It's okay. I didn't think they'd let me leave this season. I guess they really meant it when they said they have no intention of infringing upon my freedom. Oh yeah, we got a car now. No, that simply won't do. You gotta treat like a master. He'll walk us to the door, okay. Thank you. He let me go without even trying to stop me. I guess he really believes I'll be back. To be fair, how would you not be back? You own the place. Uh-huh. 
どうなされます What else do you need? やっぱ車出してもらっていい Oh, damn right, you better take that car. Fucking, you, dude, it's provided by the office, use it. Use your car. It is your, it is your right as a person. <sighs> oh, yeah. I arrive at my apartment in the back, in the black car. I think it's a limo driven by Mr. Mizoguchi. My directions were piss poor, so both the fam Mizoguchi's familiarity with the area and his driving skills play a big role in that. Good job. The man's old enough to remember the places. Since I was back, I took the opportunity to unplug the fridge. It's not like there's anything but stale cabbage in there anyway. I crammed my laptop and some other stuff into a bag and left the room. Honestly, I wouldn't say no, but I also feel embarrassed to have people carry my shit. So I understand if someone from a poorer background would suddenly be thrust into luxury like this and be wary. You know? Be scared. Exactly, like that. I have delicate equipment inside. I couldn't deal with it if he tripped like he did yesterday and dropped it. Yeah, I don't trust you either. <laughs> I returned to my room with Mr. Mo Mizoguchi and put my bag on the desk. I'm honored to have enough service. Mr. Mizoguchi replied with a smile. He did this all for me without so much as a frown. I think I'm starting to get a feel for how I will be treated in this position. Think of this place as your home, huh? Don't tempt me with a good time, as my friends would say. Don't tempt me with a good time. Oh shit, I can pick! Guys, I'm not ready to pick! I'm not good with choices! I guess we go we go pick. Um Sakuma Mizoguchi do nothing. Second floor. Or, okay, there are two floors. Okay, so we get to choose our link. I feel like he'll smother me. Wait, no, I want to I want to feel the muscles. Please, the muscles. Okay. Social link time. Mansion was constructed so that you could see all the doors <laughs> from the entry hall. It's a huge place. Sorry. Oh, great. An armor again? Oh, he's moving the armor, isn't he? <laughs> Calm down. Soon Marvel's moving on its own. It was the sort of thing you'd expect to see in a haunted house. The kind of thing people don't make it out alive after. Hold on. Before we proceed, let's make myself a little smaller. Yeah. There we go. I now fits properly. Just in case there's more text. Soon as the thoughts flood in my mind one after the other. Ghosts? Again? Our protagonist is quite the... Skeptic, isn't he? Guess you thought wrong, huh, bitch? <laughs> Figured. Oh, though. Human shape made it more immediately terrifying than the dresser. Even if I was caught off guard, my face was still burning with embarrassment. Todo popped out from behind. Guess he was ordered to cart around something enormous again. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> That's why I picked up that massive suit of armor like it weighed nothing. I guess it is hollow, maybe it's lighter than it looks. Please be careful. It's heavy. I can't believe you can pick this up like it's nothing. Maybe you could pin me down. Okay, that was terrible. Okay. It's good weight training, jeez. Then phase him in the slightest. If I were to tell Toto I was terminating him, I'm pretty sure I'd be the one getting terminated, literally. You want to get even stronger? Maybe to pin me down? Sorry, I keep I keep getting thirsty here. I shouldn't. These are my employees. Right? Right? Please? Right? 
He looked pretty strong already, but the thought of him lusting after even more power was a little scary. <laughs> this is really the only thing I'm any good at, so I'm just moving things around. You want to help, but... But what? Then help? I tried to clean the windows, I broke the glass. Oh, you don't have a graceful hand. God bless you, dude. Not even the dishes. Talk about inhuman strength, did I stumble into a slapstick comedy or something? Get the clue, man, if you can't function day to day because of it. Maybe you've trained too much, you dumb meathead. Those are harsh inner words, what the fuck? Is what I'd like to shout at him, but I think I'll hold off. I shouldn't say anything stupid. Oh, you get to chat to me. Yay. Toto said with a gentle smile that didn't really seem to fit with his large frame. Is that really how he feels, or is he just trying to suck it up to me? I've gotta keep my guard up since I got... until I get to know him better. Burglars breaking in? With a jock like him. Why are we describing him as a jock? But then again, this game was made in the 90s. If not 2000s, early 2000s. I guess. It was made at the turn of the millennia, guys. We've never had a burglar break in, so I know I haven't. Plus, I don't even think I could do something like that. You have the brawn of 10 men. You don't think you can take on a burglar? Too weak, my ass! Eat it! Eat it! Nyaaah! I don't even know how to respond to that. I don't even know what bizarre standards he could be using to say that he wouldn't be strong enough. Exactly. Toto-san! <laughs> popped out of a nearby room to call for Toto. <laughs> Alright. Wow, this brat is kind of pushy, isn't he? Toto lifted the armor with ease and carried it back. And since I had no reason to hang around, I went back to my own. What are they doing in the bathroom? What are they doing together in the bathroom? Hold on. Why are they there? Why are they there? Okay. I'll do a save. I was going to head to the bath where I'd heard Mizaguchi mention after dinner, but the mansion was so huge I wasn't sure I'd be able to find it. I looked around first, so I peeped around each corner, but nothing looked quite right, so I ended up searching around for the bath. I didn't have dinner with everyone tonight, so I was all alone. I felt kinda down for sitting all alone at the huge table, so I invited everyone to join me again, but... I guess butlers sharing a meal with their master really is an unusual occurrence, so they all made a big show of rejecting the offer. I don't know if I can get used to this. Oh, you're looking for what's wrong? I sat called out to me as I was looking about restlessly. Where is it? Alright. He pointed me in the right direction and then... You wanna join me in the bath, dude? I'll say yes, but... Hmm. Komine came running at an immense speed from the dining room while shouting incomprehensibly. Oh? Why? You wouldn't know where anything is or how to turn the hot water on and stuff on your own. The very free had someone with you? I feel like you're trying to skip dinner duty. Or dish duty. I'm gonna need to know how to use the bath if I'm gonna live here, and I'd rather not have to call someone to explain things while I'm there. It'd be a pain. Maybe I should go in with someone else to teach me after all. Both of you do it! I don't mind more of you! I'm that kind of hoe. <laughs> oh god. They're really hell bent on getting to know me. This has nothing to do with getting closer to me. One wants to be a puppy, the other wants to be a bestie. What do I do? Make the put them all both on a leash. What? It's logical. 
You can both come with me, exactly. Hey, I said both of you could do it. Calm down, Arisato. Risotto. You're Risotto from now on. You're Rice. I'm calling you Risotto now. Oh my god. Okay, this is pretty normal. This is pretty normal. I guess we're safe. We're safe, right? We're safe? We're safe? Are we safe? Yeah, we're safe. I suspect we are safe, right? Dude. Other dude. Master dude. We're safe. That is a slutty way to hold your towel. We're safe. This is safe. This is a safe space. This is a safe space with safe people. Straight to heaven? I never asked you. You shouldn't have to do anything, Master. This feels like one of those twin massages over at spas. And... Oh my god, is this way? Is this the precursor? <laughs> That'll be crazy. <laughs> You'd be surprised what the twin massages are like. It's... First shower. This delicious. Oh, you want a bite out of me, Komine? Oh my god. Awa, awa, koshi, koshi. I'm gonna use that now. Awa, awa, koshi, koshi. I don't think I've been in the bath with other guys since high school. And this is the first time I've had my back washed. It's not bad, actually it feels pretty nice, but this gorgeous hands motions didn't really fit the cheerful atmosphere. It was oddly embarrassing. Being served silently was really awkward, so I tried to distract myself by talking. I'm glad you both came. Inside with me. Came inside the bath with me. <laughs> inside the bath with me. Inside the bath with me. That's <laughs> Please don't talk about thieves. I'm already worried about security here. Oh, yeah, yeah, what are you guys thinking? Glass house? Nope. If everything was visible to the thief too, what good would it do if he knew we were all naked and couldn't chase that him right away? They use their hands to carefully get rid of all the suds. You're stroking the body of a man you hardly know, you know. Even if it's their job, you need mutual trust for this sort of thing. I certainly don't have it. Or does that mean they all trust me, some random nobody? Is that even possible? If that's the case, it's nothing to laugh at. Are they really going that far to ex execute that order to continue working as butlers? I'm not even sure if Mr. Kamishiro was serious about that. Think about it logically. I really think there's something strange all about all this, but... <coughs> when I got out of the bath, my clothes had been replaced with expensive looking pajamas. Fabric felt so nice against my skin that it made me giggle all a little when I put them on. They're really doing everything for me, even when I can't see them. They say I could just sit on my ass for a month and they'll wash my back and give me food and clean and do my laundry, take care of everything for me, I don't have to lift a damn finger. It's basically the same as saying within the confines of the estate, I can just take advantage of them, right? I had to actually taken advantage. I had actually taken that advantage and let them wash me and attack me with towels to dry me off earlier. I feel like you're getting wild with this thought process, my dude. I'm worried about the protagonist. It feels like he's ready to run wild with it. Are you feeling lightheaded? It's fine. Ah. For better or worse, these two seem particularly friendly with me. For my part, I figured it couldn't hurt to befriend them too, but I couldn't help but think we had drastically different expectations here. Oh, he wants to clean the taint. Clean the taint. Taint, 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 taint. Hold on, I want to do that thing. Taint, 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 taint. 
。僕もちょっぴり残念です。なんなんだ。What's with you guys? All right, that's good. That's safe. I went back to my room and slipped under the cover, still warm from the bath. In an instant, I was asleep. It's Sunday. Flower garden, kitchen. Maybe I should visit the kitchen. Looks like he's busy with something, you know? I was so powerful, I'd be able to follow it back with my eyes closed. There was only one person who could be conducting it. Oh, hey. Komine was making, shaking a big frying pan around while flashing me a toothy grin. Numerous square white fragments danced around inside the black frying pan, striking contrast of colors. Pan fried squid with sage? Ah. A lot of sage. He thought that the little ya and flicked the frying pan up so the ingredients would cook evenly. Every single time, the pieces of squid cut a beautiful arc through the air and landed right back in the pan. Kinda cool, like he was a real artisan or something. Let me put the pan down with a little dunk, turned off the burner, and turned to me. He seemed like he was having fun cooking. He wasn't just making a skill either. I guess he wasn't lying when he said he was a chef. I need you to give me a bite of that ass. No. Wow, that was cold. <laughs> no. Honestly, honestly, if he says he's a country boy, give me a country boy that's very handsy. I would say yes. I would try to conduct the social uh, nuances of country boys. I would say yes to a country boy. Would you guys say yes to a country boy? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> You're gonna make a joke? Do it right. Just common courtesy, man. Does he come on strong and touchy feely as a cover for this monstrosity? Even though he knows I can fire him, he's rude and over familiar and pretends like he's some kind of comedian. And then there's that fat dumb smile. It's all, all fake. Tomo-chan! I will say, Tomoaki is kind of very distrusting. A little more than usual. Like he's he, like he hates someone who's overly happy or familiar. But then again, I would hate someone over familiar. But it feels a little unwarranted in this case, doesn't it? いきなり何やねん、めっちゃ遠く行きよって。なあ、ごめん。ちょっと考え事してた。しゃあないな。リクエスト聞いたるからいい。what were, what were you talking about again? Komine would have any number of opportunities to poison me from here out. But I can't really see an angle where that would benefit him. I'm just a normal person. There's no reason to take me out. Oh yeah, you're still distrusting of everybody here, right? I didn't think you were such a foodie. Is there any food you really hate? I guess there would be. I take a stand and conquer the food you hate. Celine Dion would sing the theme song, right? How am I supposed to know? Okay, now I feel the annoyance. How am I supposed to know what kind of scene you want to play out? <laughs> Is that where the annoyance comes in, or you just don't trust everybody? I don't know what song Celine Dion would sing at that opportunity, though. May I have a portion? Oh, Sakuma. Welcome. Oh, 
全気がつきまへんでしたわ。Call me no really. I swear to God. まさかご主人様にアホなどと。言うてませんご主人様に精神誠意をお使いする記憶正しい執事ですから。I will say, with the way I will say, the way that he does act compared to the others, I wouldn't be surprised if he had like a villain arc later down the road. I would not be surprised. This is like a kind of stand up routine. Is he the kind of guy who picks fights with people he likes? ビビったわーほんま寝室鬼没やで愛するトモちゃんとのランデブーやのにな He's the sort of guy who can play it cool with anyone He plays dumb to erase any cracks in his mask I guess it's like hiding a leaf in a forest コミネさん夕飯はお任せでいいや I said as I left あーちょ待ってやトモちゃん I'm sure the cracks will start to show sooner or later He's really tactical about all this. It's kind of concerning, isn't it? I might as well visit the others, considering I really have nothing to do. I don't want to just go to sleep. That's boring. Let's visit Sakuma. <laughs> it looked brilliant by day, but once the sun had set, the whole place was filled with a vague eeriness. The pointless extra space means more of it is in uninhabited. Yeah, that's what I don't like about giant places. I want something just the right size. You visit Sakuma's room. He's an early to bed, early to rise type of her, after all. Gosujin-sama? What? All of a sudden, Sakuma's standing behind me. I'm begging you to stop walking around so silently. No, no, you misunderstand. I want to get to know you better. Pointed towards my room with his hand, trying to guide me. Guess he thinks I got lost. We exist for your sake, master. I missed my opportunity to tell him I'm not stupid. I know where my room is already, so I just let him lead me back. Oh my god, really? No. But I guess this builds rapport. I don't like it, though. Yeah. That was dumb. No, fuck off. That's it. No, I refuse. I'd rather interact with the guys. Okay, we got a bunch to do. That's right here. I'm saving just for progress, just in case. I had a hard time believing there could be some sinister plot going on in the background of this fairy tale scenery. I'm probably just overthinking things. You are. <coughs> I always heard the Italian mob sends their targets gifts to, send to get them to drop their guard. This guy has read too many movies. I mean, watched too many movies. If he's thinking about the Italian mafias, but then again, this is already an outrageous situation, so it's not out of the picture. Todo! Todo set down the sacks and straightened himself out. I guess he's been trained to drop what he's doing in the master presence. I didn't think Ichinose would have could would could have cleared the yard himself, so Todo helped him. That makes sense. Maybe it's the blocks behind I guess heavy lifting is basically child's play to Todo. To get your clothes dirty, don't do it. I also make myself look like a nice guy for my own protection. They're way heavier than I thought. Quite a few decorative cinder blocks have already been fitted together to form the border of a flower bed. The reddish brown bricks were much heavier than I'd imagined. It wasn't like I couldn't carry any of them, but doing more than one at a time would have been physically impossible. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be very helpful here. It's not my fault I'm getting a liberal arts degree. Put that down before you hurt yourself, Master. I'll do it for you. I dropped the block. Oh! I thought you crushed your toe, Jesus. 
本当に本当にありがたいっす。I'm really glad you're nice, but please let us handle this thing. I can really get a read on him on the combination of verbal things and that look on his face. Is he actually mad at me? I'll watch. I like to be a voyeur. Don't take that out of context, please. Honestly, I used to watch the baseball players like train before I joined them. Training. I would not survive, but I still enjoyed it. He sure blows everything out of proportion. He almost, he's almost closer to a soldier than a jock. I started to get the feeling that there wasn't much beyond the surface with him. Found the components on the flower bed on his shoulders with ease that it almost seemed like they'd been swapped with another material. Master? He was holding a hammer and struck the ground with it once even while he was looking. While he was looking at me. It was kind of scary the way he did it with a completely blank expression. He struck the empty ground with the hammer again. Practice? Yeah, that is creepy. For what? My face? He got ahead of himself. That sounds like a creeper. I feel like he's gonna kill me in my sleep now that I think about it. it now I understand his thoughts. If Toto wasn't translating, this would have been a much. This wouldn't be much of a conversation. He struck the ground even harder, sending dirt flying. <laughs> you don't have to watch. This isn't work. It's just Ichinose's hobby. Please go back inside. Oh, he doesn't. He's he's frustrated that we're watching. <laughs> I don't think it's being rude. I think it's more like he he wants to express that he doesn't want to be watched while doing his work. Oh, he's getting frustrated even more. Okay. Or does Ichinose just really dislike me? He didn't lip open his mouth again after that and kept working in silence. He stuck wooden dowels into the ground and twisted the cord around him. Every so often, he hit the ground with a hammer, almost like he was telling me go away. Alright, I'll go. Yeah, that was... that was... that made me uncomfortable. Yeah, Getting in the way. Remember, you do own it. Ichinose doesn't like me. Ichinose is happy that you're here. He really is a good person. Only good people love flowers after all. He looked at me straight in the eye and said that. From the outside, all I could see was his threateningly superhuman strength, but maybe he really was a gentle person. What are you talking about? Wow, Tomo, what the fuck? I did scare you, didn't I? Just a bit. So you aren't completely pleased to it? I think you most must have a lot of guts since you came straight here after seeing that flyer, Master, but I guess it's only normal to freak out a little when you're suddenly told that you're our master and ran into a guy that looks like me. Could be that Toto is the most normal person in this mansion? Yeah, I would say so. Ironically. I'm sure he's been through a lot of misunderstandings because of how he looks. It kind of reminds me of that one picture book about that poker who just wanted friends but would get persecuted instead. Aww, he's a poor big baby. Don't worry, I'll cuddle you. Yeah, you're getting better with Toto. It's kind of hard to dislike. Ichinose's attitude just doesn't make sense to me. Toto doesn't seem to be conspiring with him, but he does must have had a reason to want to keep me away from the flower bed. He doesn't know about flowers, okay. Seedlings? <laughs> Sweat oozed down my back. There's just something creepy about Ichinose. 
maybe just for now, I don't know. It could change, or it could be affirmed. He couldn't be burying a body or something, right? He's not normal. Yeah, go back to work. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to blow my nose. Flower bed? I need to warn him about talking to you like that. Oh, okay. I must be watching too much TV, but my gut was telling me that there was something dangerous about Ichinose. He does seem dangerous if he's willing to smack your head in. Oh god, I could visit Ichinose right now, huh? Should I risk it? I guess I could. You know what? I live for danger. Go for it. <coughs> I thought I'd drop by Ichinose's room. There are some parts of Ichinose I still don't understand. I wouldn't have been surprised to find her cooking up some shady drugs, chanting spells. Ichinose. I knocked as hard as I could and called out softly. If he's asleep, I just leave. But what if I just woke him up? I no, I'm the master. Acting a little arrogant makes you masterly, right? Probably. After a bit, the door opened and Ichinose invited me in. Dozo. I will say, you actually do ki look kind of pissed. I'm kind of scared now. Help. <laughs> he wasn't in his pajamas. I felt a bit relieved that I didn't have woken him. Ichinome always looks sleepy, but he seems especially sleepy now. Did I wake you? I was awake. His upper body swayed as he wrung out a response. He seemed to have a hard time focusing. Why do you stay up until Master goes to sleep? Dude, get some blood. You're, you're off the clock now. Such an unsteady butler isn't going to be very useful. First, I need to get Ichinose to sit down on his bed before he falls over. I start to wonder if he could manage to change his clothes on his own, but that's not something a master should think about, so I figured it best to end this sooner rather than later. He called out to me. What? Oyasumi nasai. Master. Oyasumi. 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 Oh yes, it's me. When I went out to the hall, Mr. Mizoguchi came by. Nightcrawling is a little different. Oh, wasn't Ichinose sleeping? If you need something, I can. He was up this late? It's not like I really needed anything. I just stopped by to hang out. He seemed really tired though. Does he normally go to bed early? And more, every day he wakes with the rising sun and retires with the setting sun. Like a plant, I suppose. He was up at this usual time this morning. Surely just wanted to see your face a bit longer, young master. What? What's so special about me? I mean, I am master, but still. He said he wanted to stay up until I went to bed. Something about that is kind of embarrassing. That's got not good for his health. Would you tell him he can go to bed when he normally does? Finding out that I make him do all that feels kind of bad, and I'm kind of worried and all. Why is everyone in this mansion so... weird? Night. Hi, night. Okay. We got a lot to do today, apparently. So it's a lot of this. So this is the cycle we're dealing with. Let's go here. <coughs> I really couldn't think of anything more reassuring than having Toto's superhuman strength on my side. We should probably get to know him a little better. This is a thought of to me. I happen to see him in the hall. Oh, Toto! Ohayo! Ah! Ohayo gozo! Tomo-chan! Oh wow, you came here really early. Yeah, 
Hey, don't pick on him that far. Good nooning. Nooning? Oh my god, Komina, what the fuck? That's not that's not normal. Komina, what the fuck? Komina, seriously, what the fuck? Freshly spit pajamas were put from our laundry immediately this morning too. Oh my god. Could you guard my room for me? Pounds on you? Okay, he's really thirsty. Maybe he hates everybody here. Right, let's have a theory. He hates everybody here. He's looking for some fresh dick because he's banged everybody, but that sucked everybody. But he's banged with everybody, but he wants, he's craving a new experience. So he wants me to jump his bones. If that's a plot, I'm going to walk out. Not happening. He's such a masochist, what the fuck? I like your icy side too, Tommy. Well, I ain't got, I'm gonna get dinner prep. Hope you're excited. That's wild. He came like and went like a storm. Can't say he doesn't leave an impression. He suddenly had left Toto temporarily dumbfounded. It took a moment to open his mouth again. Oh, calm down. It's not that bad. Okay, this. <laughs> I think you should care a little. I don't think he'll listen. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should give Komine a dumb nickname too. Yeah, that's smart. His first name is Ryoji. When we first met, he did say, Call me Mine or Ryoji or whatever you like. Ryo? If that's what you want, Master, but won't that just make him happy? Yeah, that's a, yeah, don't, don't. Happiness for him is big no-no. It reminds me. What's your first name anyway, Toto? I thought I did. I had a pretty good memory for names, and I know Toto never gave me his full name. Does not, he not realize that his hesitation is just making me more curious? And a character for Strong, the complicated one. How do you read it? Aki Todo. What a cute name for such aggressive characters. <laughs> Lil Aki. Master. Oh no, he's begging. We're teasing him. Aww. He's a little Ubu baby girl. Actually, he might be a man failure. I'm, I would bet. Bet. Sounded like he was about to burst into tears as he hung his head, dejected. His inside and outside were so drastically different, it was honestly kind of cute. <laughs> How tall are you, anyway? Six feet? Crouch down a bit. No, you don't know how to apologize for that, I like that. I put my hand on his bear like head and lowered it, and stroked him. Aww. Like a stuffed animal. Head, head. He got head pads! No! <laughs> Master? Pet, 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 pet. I I pet the big boy, because he's baby girl. I pet the baby girl. Go short, get dead, yeah. Master is so mean. Oh god, this, this is gonna awaken something in him, isn't he? It's gonna awaken something in him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Messed up his hair half out of envy and half for fun. <laughs> it, it's kind of embarrassing. Just the time is over, you can get up. I don't really get pat on the head. It felt kind of nice. Oh, you want head pats? Come to my room every night and I'll give you head pats every night. See guys, this is how you get a grinder date. Don't go for sex. Get give head pats. Just give head pats. Oh. You should have just told me to begin with, then I'd have just been all what an unusual name and you wouldn't have had so much fun with you. When you try to hide it, it's impossible to resist. We're such a sadist, aren't we? We're sadistic. 
You're lumping me with him? Well, that's a little shocking. Todo is nice and manly. It suits you better anyway. Let's bro it up. I don't like... I don't like that word. Bro it up. No. Get out. I don't like that word. Ew. I guess he appreciates it. Oh well. Keep up the good work. I watched Toto's large form as he walked off. I could tell he'd gone off to help with the flower bed again. I don't want to get anywhere near each other, and I honestly preferred if Toto didn't associate with him either. I didn't have the courage to order him to stop. They're just friends, right? My job is to spend time here as master. That's why I'm here, and while I do think it's a bit weird for a job, I'm starting to feel a little responsible for the place. It'll be a real pain in the ass if things go south and I don't get paid. I can't just rely on the people around me calling me master. I've got to change myself to fit the role. Let's do this. Aki Toto. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before. Curious. Mochizuke is in the bathroom. Let's go visit. I just finished dinner and the please fe pleasant feeling of a full stomach made me laugh out along left out alongside. Eating your fill of tasty food is great, but not having to clean up after yourself totally owns. I figured I should set aside my suspicions for now and enjoy myself since it'd be a waste otherwise. I decided to take a quick bath before I head, so I head to the bathroom. What a huge bath! If I showed anyone else a photo of this place, they doubt that they think it was a hot spring. Or public one. It was pretty nice for how old the mansion is, too. This place was built in the middle of the Meiji period, right? I guess the kitchen and the bathroom were definitely remodeled more recently. I guess there's not mo much point in investigating this place. It's a Gucci. Voice called out. Do you have a moment? Let's take a bath together. What's wrong? But I still haven't added the sweet flag. Would you like me to? What the? Sweet flags? What are the sweet flags? Also, hold on. Mosaics? Off. Okay, we're off on the mosaics. Good. Sweet flags? May 5th, boys day for customary sweet flag bath. Is there a point? This is the... This is a private bath. Is there a point with holiday stuff like that? It's a thing, isn't it? I guess this mansion really does care about keeping in step with the seasons. Alright, let's put him in. Such a pain when it's just me, so I never really give a second thought to the seasons. Let you put those long thin leaves in for a sweet flag bath, right? Leaves, plants. I don't really like the idea of plants, you know, say kukuru. Supermarket. Sweet flags don't grow here. That's a relief. Is there any way to be doing it at this age? It compasses with my wish for you to remain healthy, young master. <coughs> Aww. Your health is my health, after all, young master. He said, uh, Mr. Mizuguchi said, and threw the sweet flags into the bath. Refreshing green fragrance filled the bath. Swiftly but silently, he left. That's curious. I don't sense a hint of sarcasm or hidden meaning in Mr. Gucci's words. I guess he's just taking care of me. Like, doing things for me is only natural to him. I think that's the most of the time I have for now. I'm gonna strive to cover this game more. You have class today. I could skip class? Holy shit, I don't know how I feel about that. They don't want me to, you know... Compass. That's a, that's a curious option. I never... I can actually actively choose to skip class. That's something. Hey guys, prepare for Persona 3... Persona 3 come down. <laughs> Persona 3... Persona 3... Persona 3 gang <laughs> The new OST gang thing. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I'm done, I'm done. Thanks everybody for joining me. Um, this is the first time I see class as an option. So, we're gonna work with that. There are no RPG elements, this is just a visual novel. So we're gonna go over with it. Anyway, California Mac is signing out. Thanks again. I'll t I'll try to catch up with this one soon. I just have to do camp buddy, don't I? Fuck. Don't worry. I'm sure I can juggle it. I just need to find time in the evening. And cut down on streaming, actually. I'll still stream with my buddies. But I think this is something that I'm more comfortable with. 
I will say I do enjoy hanging out with some of you folks, so I will be more active on Discord and such. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying anyway. Anyways, California Mac is signing out. Thanks again. Bye for now. Hey guys, before we wrap up, let's give huge thanks to people who made this all possible. My patrons, Sebastian, Victor H, Rusisi Anthony, Jan Van S, Null, Gamer Oz, Rocky, Pandora, Giovertate Green, Michael Norton, Stephen McLeese, Quirin Nabal, Zeth, Dominic Ruiz, Alazena, Russell, Ryder Evans, Tim Bobrowski, Thomas Good, Matt, Sean, Thomas Wilcock, Zhang Zhang, Yo-Yo Dre, Thanatos, and everybody over at the Samplers. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Honestly, I'm feeling good that I'm getting a, ba a bit back into the groove. I'll let you guys know how it goes, and I'm, I'm sure you'll see the results. <laughs> Till then, ciao!